hi all welcome to my next video uh, this video we are going to talk about uh, linear optimization linear programming using excel now what is uh, linear programming hope uh, you have all done this in your uh, first trimester in quantitative analysis quantitative methods uh, linear programming is nothing but an optimization technique here what happens is an objective function defines the quantity to be optimized and the goal of linear programming is to find the values of variable that maximize or minimize the objective function okay any system will have a constraint so in order based on that constraint we have to manage uh, our resources so this is a highly uh, useful uh, programming technique optimization technique to better understand uh, the linear programming let us go through the case of uh, apollo tires so Apollo Tires is a tire company. Okay, this tire company plans to sell two versions of tires, tire one and tire two, at a price of 290, 295 for the tire one and 450 for the tire two. And uh, the cost of tire one is 250, and the cost of tire two is rupees 400, respectively. So the maximum monthly demand for tire one is 200 units, and the minimum monthly demand for a tire 2 is 100 units uh, the total cost of goods should not exceed rupees 70,000 so here what number of uh, units produced and sold will maximize contribution margin so here our objective is to maximize the contribution margin uh, using linear programming technique so we all know what are the steps involved in linear programming Okay, uh, let us discuss that in detail. Uh, in linear programming, we all know that uh, these are the things. Okay, steps in building linear programming: read the problem carefully, take notes, gather necessary. Okay, and then uh, state whether your objective is to maximize or minimize. What are your decision variables? Uh, for example, in our problem, the decision variable is the quantities to be produced and the contribution margin and then we have to discuss about uh, define the linear equations first we have to tell what is the uh, objective function then define uh, constant function constraint function and solve using paper and then using excel so based on that method methodology uh, the apollo tires we can write like this tire one price is 295 tire 1 cost is 200 and tire 2 price is 450 and uh, tire 2 cost is 400 uh, actually it is not 200 I think it's 250 that's a mistake so uh, so maximum estimated demand for uh, tire 1 is 200 and the minimum estimation demand for tire 2 is 100 so these are the constraints these three are the constraints and these three are the objective function and uh, how to do this in excel we'll see this broad details in excel let us open the excel sheet and uh, i'll copy the same thing for uh, our new problem i have already solved this uh, let us copy this this is the problem so first uh, we have to list down all the necessary data first we have to list down what is the product the product is nothing but uh, the tire 1 and tire 2 okay uh, that we have to write try tire 1 which is also can be given a label of X and Y X okay tire 2 with the label of y the label of y right then you can uh, write the price the price of the product which tire 1 price is 295 and tire 2 price is 450 and you can write the cost 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 of tire 1 is 250 and cost of uh, tire 2 is 
400 and contribution contribution margin that is the main objective which we have to maximize with the given constraints so contribution margin as you have to remember you have to write this contribution margin in formula based okay how do we do that is equal to price minus cost so contribution margin for tire 1 is 45 the same thing you can copy and paste here contribution margin for tire 2 is 50 now units to be produced units to be produced uh, that is what we have a lot of constraints in unit to be produced that is what the next line talks about so we we have to find out through solution optimization optimization solution that how many units we can produce okay so let us uh, write some of the constraints constraints okay what are the constraints constraints are the constraints are like uh, maximum monthly demand for tire one maximum monthly demand for tire one should not exceed uh, which is they have written as uh, 200 okay they have written as uh, 200 they have given it should not exceed 200 I mean maximum the minimum demand for tire 2 is 100 minimum it should have uh, minimum it should have minimum monthly demand for tire 2 is 100 and the cost of goods cost of goods including all should not exceed the total cost should not exceed 70,000 should not exceed 70,000 so how you will write this these are the necessary statements I mean necessary data which we have to write okay these are the necessary data This is the thing these are the constraints okay these are the constraints now how do you write this in an equation form linear programming form let us start with a goal the goal is goal or objective is to maximize contribution maximize contribution contribution okay so what is the contribution how do we maximize the contribution you have to write with a formula called some product some product where is the contribution margin comma number of units that is the total maximum contribution after solving the optimization equation using solver function We'll get to know what is the maximum value. So this is the goal. And what are the major constraints? Constraints. How do you write that constraints? Very clearly you have to list down all the data. Then it becomes easy to solve the problem. Constraints. How do you how how we write in uh, linear programming? It's very simple. Uh, Non-negativity. We know x is greater than equal to zero, right? X is greater than or equal to zero. Y is greater than or equal to zero. Uh, we call this as non-negativity, right? Non-negativity. Non-negativity. And uh, then we say tire one. 
tire 1 which is x tire 1 tire 2 tire 1 x x uh, should not be greater than or equal to sh should be less than or equal to 200 it should not cross 200 so constraints for tire 2 is tire 2 y is it should be greater than or equal to 100 right 200 100 and cost of goods cost including both should be how much it should be is equal to is equal to some product some product uh, this is the cost right cost comma number of units and uh, this should not this should not uh, be greater than or equal to uh, sorry it should be less than or equal to 70,000 right it should not go beyond 70,000 so how do we give this uh, for the excel say units of tire 1 tire 1 okay units of tire 1 to be produced to be produced units of tire 1 to be produced same thing copy and paste it units of tire 2 to be produced okay and then cost of cost what you can do is for the units you select the cell from directly from here and then for this cell you select directly from here and then cost what you can do is is equal to some product some product of cost comma number of units to be produced okay this is how it goes and the conditions are it should not have is equal to 200 it should not cross more than 200 this unit should be minimum should be greater than 100 and this cost should not cross more than 70,000 so once you have this format what you can do is instead of writing here you can give is equal to uh, 200 from uh, here should not cross from 200 and uh, should not cross 100 so once this equation is ready now what you can do is go to the data uh, in data there is option called solver click on solver once you click on solver you get this so what you have to write is your objective is to get the maximum contribution okay be clear in selection of this okay this is your maximum contribution right by changing what by changing this by changing the units okay by changing the units by changing this units right now you have to add the constraints it becomes very easy just click on the add uh, once you click on the add constraint the first constraint is the cell reference is this one and it should be less than or equal to the constraint is 200 right okay you have to add one more constraint the cell reference is tire 2 it should be greater than or equal to the constraint of 100 
then add the third constraint which is uh, here cost of 650 should not should be less than or equal to 70,000 okay so here are the three things three constraints and one objective function and then we we always do linear programming using simplex method so once these all things are ready you can click on solve so as this uh, dialog box will appear the solver solver found a solution all the constraints and optimality conditions are satisfied so click on the answer then click ok so you get you got the answer report here so the final maximum contribution which we can make is 1400 10400 and the quantity of tire 1 you can produce is 120 and quantity for tire 2 you can produce is 100 and here you can see the cell formula everything they have given so overall go back to the sheet you can see this entire thing is changed now 120 tire 1 you can produce 120 tire 2 you can produce 100 to get a maximum contribution of 10400 under all constraints and finally when you draw the graph with x and y you get this solution okay uh, feasible feasible solution that is the end of uh, linear program so if you have a doubt the same method how do how you do it in paper uh, the excel helps you to save some time that's the only difference so you can if you have a doubt you can comment me and you can mail me or you can send a whatsapp message thank you